Alright, so as some of you may know, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, um, the bike I test rode was a Canyon bike. They had a Canyon weekend in Surrey a few weeks ago, and I went out on a very cold Saturday and went for a quick spin on the bike. So the bike I test rode was the carbon equivalent of the aluminum bike I was looking at. So same um, components, Altigra components, as the um, aluminum bike, but it was carbon. Initial thoughts, um, hydraulic brakes they are so much more reactive than the Brody um, mechanical disc brakes. Very nice, but i got to get used to that. Um, I ended up in a small, even though the website said I was an extra small, the extra small is tiny. Um, it's a 46, and my current bike is a 48. And the endurance geometry, I really like it. So much less aggressive than my uh, Boardman Road bike. Loving this bike. And then after test riding that, I um, went upstairs um, to look at all the other bikes they had on display, and um, they had some pro bikes and some very beautiful bikes, just stunning bikes. And one that caught my eye was this Aquamarine. It has DI2 electronic shifting on it, so obviously out of my budget. Um, it's a carbon frame. Beautiful bike. Couldn't stop thinking about it. And then as I was looking around online the other day, I realized that I could get that frame in carbon in my budget um, with 105 components versus the LT Gro I was looking at on the black aluminum bike um, I previously thought was going to be the one. And that color, that, that teal, that aquamarine, I have in various things in my life. Um, it's a color I'm just generally drawn to. I really like it. It's bright, it's cheerful, it's eye-catching. So I could not get this bike out of my mind, and I decided to switch from the aluminum. Um, it's the 8.0 to the carbon 7.0 with the 105 components. Like, like I said, 105 was my criteria, so it's still meeting my criteria, and I'm just so so excited about the color. I just... Um, just love that color so I'm so glad I went in person um, to get to see that bike and it sort of changed what bike I'm getting so now I just have to order it so I'm um, what I'm doing is checking out let store to see if any in my size come in in that bike and waiting for sale so I generally um, tend to not pay full price for bikes and so I'm just waiting and seeing what happens there I have my boardman I'm happy riding it and uh, this bike when it's time hopefully will come at the right price the price the full price is actually in my budget but um, I'm in no hurry so I'm happy to wait um, a month or two and see what happens